Teacher talking sports here. I got my Knicks hoodie on. We've now won three in a row. Uh, to move to within a game of 500. But man, was yesterday a scary game against the lowly Detroit Pistons, who were missing a few players uh, due to being in COVID protocols, including number one overall pick Cade Cunningham. Jeremy Grant's out with an injury. And be prepared to hide your kids right now because you're about to see something absolutely scary from last night's game. Kaboom. Look at those plus minuses between the Knicks starters and the Knicks reserves. Uh, as low as a minus 29 RJ Barrett. But look at the pluses for the bench. Obi Toppin, plus 36. Taj Gibson, plus 31. Miles McBride didn't even score in his 25 minutes, but the team was still a plus 39. Alec Burks, what a fourth quarter, plus 28. And Emmanuel quickly, a plus 27. I, honestly, this might be the craziest difference between starters and reserves in plus minus I've ever seen. I've been you know, looking at box scores daily for I don't even know how many years now. Absolutely absurd. This has been a problem for the Knicks for a lot of the season. There's no excuse against the sorry Detroit Pistons 5-28 and 28, that the starters got pl outplayed so bad while they were on the court. Uh, Evan Fournier was a late scratch due to an ankle injury. Wasn't quite their normal starting lineup as Quentin Grimes uh, took over his spot at the starting two guard. But nonetheless, again, I, I did a video a few weeks ago looking at the difference between the starters and reserves in plus minus. And this is just an absolute extreme. I don't know if I've ever seen it quite like this. I was trying to research has there ever been quite the variance between the stars and bench. Uh, I wasn't able to find anything regarding that. But Julius Randle looked like he might have been turning the corner, had an excellent Christmas Day game against the Atlanta Hawks in the two games since, is shooting 7 for 31 from the field. <sighs> I don't know what needs to be done, guys. Um, I'm a diehard Knicks fan, been since the days of Ewing, Oakley, Mason, Starks, and... <sighs> We're within a game of 500, and we got another bad team tomorrow, the Oklahoma City Thunder. Do you expect the Knicks starters to play better tomorrow? Um, I surely hope so. The Knicks went down by as many as 14 in the third quarter before the reserves saved the day for them. They played the last 15 minutes of the game and ended up pulling away from a bad Detroit team. Let's see what happens tomorrow with the starters. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, share the video, hit the bell for notifications. I'm out.